All right, welcome back to another fitness challenge video. This month, we're running. All right, so this month's challenge is actually inspired by another YouTuber, and I wish I could remember his name, but I've looked for his video and I can't find it again. So unfortunately, I can't shout him out here. But he ran one kilometer the first day of January, which is its own feat right there, running that much in January. But he added one kilometer to his run every single day. So he's running 30 kilometers on the last day. I have decided to amend it a little bit. I'm gonna add one kilometer to my run every day, but I'm gonna skip the weekends. Partly because I don't wanna run 30K by the end of this, uh, because of training and you know I don't wanna get injured. Partly because I want rest days and partly because I use my weekends for hiking and other stuff like that. So that's where we're gonna be at. We're gonna be at about a half marathon by the end of it. So today is one kilometer and here we go. I just finished my 10k run which puts me at just under halfway of this challenge I think after tomorrow or the next day we'll be halfway and let me tell you yesterday and today were quite difficult um, I think I need to maybe plan better routes because right now I'm kind of doing like a there and back thing but with a loop so I'm almost doing a loop twice which means that I have to actively like turn around close to home so mentally I think that's a little difficult but then also I've noticed that I'm kind of hitting my running stride at like six or seven k which when you're only running 10 is not really an ideal time to hit your stride so today was difficult I really need some water and hopefully it gets better from here. I feel like at some point very shortly I'm going to be increasing kilometers faster than I'm increasing fitness. So I choose this challenge though. So, yeah. Anyway, one word. I'm currently standing at a street corner about two and a half kilometers into what should, no, 2K, into what should be an 11 kilometer run. And I've decided to change up the challenge because it's not fun anymore. <laughs> and it's a challenge, so it doesn't have to be fun, but I don't know. I'm not gonna consider this a failure. I mean, technically, yes, I failed the original challenge, but I'm going to amend it for my mental well-being with running and just to ensure that I don't get injured. Cause yeah, I don't know. Anyway, I mentioned yesterday that I've been having, I've been struggling with the runs, like the 9K and the 10K. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to run the rest of the way home. So it's gonna be like four to five K, four, four to four and a half kilometers today. Tomorrow, I'm gonna run 12 as scheduled. 
then it's the weekend, so I've got two days off. And then on Monday, I'm going to run 13. And then I'm going to skip a day on Wednesday, run 14. So basically I'm gonna add one kilometer every two days instead of adding one kilometer every day. And then on the days where I'm not adding a kilometer, I'm gonna run like a shorter run, like four or five K, something like that. Just so that I'm still running every day and I'm still upping the mileage. So on the last day of the challenge, I'll be running 18 kilometers, which is only like three or four K less than I would have because we're in the second half of the challenge now. But I just, I don't want to burn out and yeah. Those are my thoughts. It's fun things, things that aren't fun all the time are definitely worth doing sometimes, but also sometimes things aren't worth doing if you're not having fun. So that's my takeaway from this. And now I'm gonna run home. <laughs> So it's like a whole bunch of days later and basically I quit the challenge. <laughs> um, but it's not because I couldn't do it or anything like that. It's basically because I am moving from BC back to Ontario for the summer and I didn't want to spend the last week that I was here running like every evening I wanted to spend it hanging out with the kids that I work with and the family that I've lived with for the last six months I didn't want to have to deal with running every day this week so I decided not to do the last week I think that this challenge was good though and it was fun and obviously I'm still running to train for a marathon in like a month but I didn't want to spend this week running specifically so that's what happened. Um, I made it up to 14K and that's all. I, uh, I didn't really think about this when I started the challenge that I would be doing it basically like right up until I left the province, but such is life and uh, that's what's up. So there you go. <laughs> Thanks for watching and have a good one. Mm -hmm.